Hello friends, it's Carrie, and welcome back to my channel. For today's card, I thought I would create a summer card since summer officially is starts on the 20th. So I thought I would uh, use this stamp set that I had just purchased from Concord and Knight. This is called um, Sweet Strawberries. And I love this set. I think it came out last year in 2019 and they were having a summer sale just a few days ago. So I thought I would go ahead and pick that up since it had been on my wish list for a little bit. And so I'm going to create this card today with you all. And I'm going to start out by using these masking stencils from Tailored Expressions. This is the rectangle set. And I love these little stencils like this because you can do all sorts of masking with them. And it makes it look like that you've got um, different layers on your card when you really don't. So what I am doing is just kind of creating a little bit of a... Um, backdrop a little bit and just to add a little bit of color to the background and not just place the strawberries on there but I didn't want a full um, opaque you know stenciled area I just wanted it to be in the lower <clears throat> excuse me the lower left corner and kind of fade up into white so but I did use my distress oxide ink and tub on glass that's one of my favorite colors of distress oxide inks uh, or the line in general Next, I'm going to take my strawberries. I'm going to be using three of them in the set. I am going to be using the biggest one and then two of the smaller ones. So I'm going to place this in my Misty, get that mounted up on my Misty door, and then I'm going to kind of prep my stamp since this is the first time that I am using it. I'm just going to rub my fingers over the stamp just to kind of condition it a little bit, and that will make it uh, to where it will adhere, um, help adhere to the ink to adhere this to the stamp. As you can see the two colors that I'm using, what I wanted to go for on the strawberries was a little bit of a gradient look. It is kind of hard to tell in the video the gradient look after I have inked it, but um, in the in the at the end of the video in the in the photo you'll be able to see just a little bit, but in person you really can tell a little bit of that gradient and I really liked how the it turned out. And so I'm inking up with my darker color and then I'm just kind of uh, overlapping with my um, little bit of a lighter color here. And I don't care if I get a little bit of the darker ink onto this specific color here because they're so close in you know range of the color that I really don't care if they kind of contaminate a little bit because it's not going to matter in the end to me. So I'm just kind of wiping off some of the excess ink that I got on my Misty door before I stamp this down. Now I did go ahead and stamp this down twice but I don't show that on camera because it is repetitive and I figured y'all kind of you know once is enough to see me stamp this down. So but I do go back and uh, re-ink it up again just so I make sure that I get a really good nice opaque impression. So once I have that stamped down onto my cardstock here, I did go ahead off camera and stamp the rest of the strawberries as well as the tops to the strawberries. And I kind of did the gradient thing as well on the strawberries too with two different greens. And you can really tell on the tops of the strawberries that gradient. And I really do love how it turned out. So now what I'm going to do is start placing my strawberries onto my panel here and I'm just going to place down my biggest strawberry. I love this biggest strawberry. It's so it's just so fun and there is a sentiment that kind of is the shape where you can stamp on the inside of the strawberry, but I didn't do that today. But maybe in a later next, you know, later, later video or another video I will do that. I will use that sentiment uh, with the same strawberry for you guys if you're interested in that seeing me use this stamp set again. If you do, just leave me a comment and I'll be happy to do that for you guys. So I'm just kind of going ahead and using my liquid glue to add the tops of the strawberries to it. And then I'm going to add a little bit of foam adhesive to this middle strawberry that I'm going to add. This is kind of the middle uh, size of the strawberries. I've got the largest and then I've got a uh, medium size, if you will, and then a little bit of a smaller size strawberry. I like the different, the different, uh, different, I can't talk today. <laughs> Sorry, guys the different sizes of strawberries i like that and especially on a clean and simple card like this you know it just kind of gives a little bit of variety so i'm now going to place this down onto the biggest strawberry next to it and i wanted to pop this up because obviously this is such a simple design adding a little bit of um, dimension to one of the strawberries helps in the layout 
And so next I'm going to add just liquid glue to this final strawberry and just lay it down and then um, place it down where I want it. And I really do love the combination of the three different size strawberries and then the obviously the variation and arrangement that I had put on down onto the card. So once I have that going and get that placed down to where I want it, I'm going to work on the sentiment next. There are, I believe, three or four different um, sentiments in this stamp set, and all of them I absolutely love. And I could see myself creating a bunch of these different thank, you know, cards for thank you cards. Um, I'm always needing thank you cards. And, um, I, you know, one of these days I probably will <laughs> just sit down and really start to get inky and make a lot of these, you know, because I, I love every single sentiment in this stamp set. I will have all of the supplies that I did use in today's card listed uh, for you guys below. Again, they're not going to be affiliate links because I'm not using affiliate links right now. Um, it's just um, it's just easier for me and uh, to do it that way. And um, so hopefully y'all understand. Hopefully y'all don't mind that they're not, you know, just direct links and just the names of the supplies. So next I'm going to work on my sentiment like I mentioned and I'm going to stamp this down in some black ink and I love this sentiment. You're the sweetest pick of the patch which I thought would worked well for to this you know this particular card because of the bunches of strawberries that I had arranged. So I'm going to stamp that down twice. Next I'm going to add my whole panel here to a black card base. This is top fold uh, black card base. I'm going to score that at five and a half and get that good and creased and I first started you know use I always usually like to uh, make sure that I get my fold creased down first with the actual bone folder that I that comes with the score buddy that I have but then I like to use my actual te a Teflon bone folder to really get that crease defined even more so after that I'm going to go ahead and add some liquid adhesive on the back of this whole entire panel get that adhered onto my card and then kind of off camera I did quickly and carefully added some shimmer with my shimmer pen to these strawberries and I didn't want to make sure that you know the ink does transfer because of the, the oxide inks are um, they work well with water so I didn't want the ink to you know transfer too much so that is it for today's card, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching my channel today. I truly appreciate it, and I will catch you all on the next one.